YouTube. Look, I, I've got to show you something. This is an update for me and for you if you're interested in this. But it's been seven days since I put up this greenhouse and seven days since I planted three trays of microgreens. And since then, I've put in five more varieties that are three days old. I have to show you this growth. Hang on a sec, I'll show you, give you a quick peek, whoop, ha, hang on, I'll just turn the camera around and I'll show you. So here we are, oh, seven days, these top three trays here, uh, seven days of growth. I'm just blown away. On the uh, left here we've got some red amaranth, cold leaf cress, some rocket, going along some radish some peas some kale red Russian kale down below we'll get in a bit closer some broccoli some sweet basil and over here some beetroots I've written on each label the amount of um, seed I planted so 30 grams in these top three trays I'm pretty happy with the density of those I'm gonna give these three more days before I um, assume they'll be ready for market or harvesting for sale but I could honestly start now because the media in these um, trays are only half full so I've got a fair bit of stem you can't see there and you know it's hard on my phone here to give a true depiction of what's going on but I'm sure you get an idea but oh, while I'm looking at the peas shout out to Corey's Cave channel here on YouTube he had some great advice when planting uh, peas that you know, I watched his video. He covers his seed with media after he's um, put them in. It, he's right, because I soaked my seeds. I put in the hydrogen peroxide and some vinegar to sterilize them. But um, I only did it for 12 hours, but still I got moldy seed. I've pulled out up to about 5% of the seed. It went mouldy. I hadn't seen that before because before getting the greenhouse I did a tray of peas just in an outdoor pot and um, nothing went wrong with them. But he was also correct about if not covering with media that the seed will lift with the plant. That's happening. But hey, he knows what he's doing. So check him out if you're watching this video and into this amazing way of farming. But yeah, look, I... I just wanted to give a quick update, post it to my channel so I can look back in the future and just say, yeah, that's where it all began because I'm, I'm running with this. I, um, I found a niche in the local market that, that needs microgreens and the way I'm going to market them I'll show in later videos, but it's going to be quite unique. Yeah, for anyone that's interested in, in doing this, give it a go. You need your, your hothouse, your greenhouse. You need your seed, your trays, your media, and listen to the to the YouTubers or, or blogs on on Google because yeah, it's there's so many little tricks that make it all work properly. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to post regularly. It's time to get some more shelves in here and start stacking it up, ready for markets because these are all experimental. We're going to eat all these ones get some ideas on how to market them in food and whatnot and some tips and tricks just to help sell the products anyway I'll catch up with you soon I'm having a great day this is fantastic okay bye